buyer beware you could be on the hook for a 25% tax on your next purchase. Hi there, I'm Nawar Naji, a real estate broker with Chestnut Park Real Estate in the city of Toronto. If this is your first time visiting my YouTube channel, make sure to click on subscribe and that bell button to get notified of my weekly videos. You might not be aware that there is a 25% withholding tax for non-resident sellers. You might be wondering, how does this impact you as a buyer? Here's an example. If the non-resident seller sells their property and is no longer in the country, the Rev Revenue Canada or CRA can go after you as a buyer for that 25% tax. I know it's not fair, but that's just the way it is in Canada. Here are three things your real estate lawyer will request from the seller's real estate lawyer. One, a statutory declaration that the seller is a resident of Canada. If they can't provide that, the second step is them requesting a, a, a clearance certificate which states that the non-resident seller has paid the capital gains to Revenue Canada. Now, this document takes a better time to get uh, from the government, so in most cases, they won't be able to provide that. So the third option or the third step would, would be is for you or say your lawyer to hold back 25% of the purchase price. And this is designed to protect you from having to come up with 25% after the transaction is completed uh, and paying that to Revenue Canada. So the next time you are looking for investment property or a home for yourself or your family, make sure you ask your real estate agent as well as your real estate lawyer to confirm that the seller is a resident of Canada because that will save you the uh, hassle of have, having to deal with Revenue Canada and being on the hook for a 25% tax on the purchase of that specific property. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please make sure you like, comment and subscribe. And until next time, happy investing.